Okie dokie. Hey, you ever had one of those days you just feel like you've been worn into the dirt like a, an eraser? It's been... <laughs> God, Jesus. Whew. Sometimes I get so many emails and comments. Wow. Um, anyway, that was off topic, wasn't it? Um, neat little secret about the D500 when I was taking it apart and fixing it. Which, by the way, is now the camera that is filming my ugly face. Including the little scar on my chin over here, which will eventually heal but looks like crap right now. Huh? Uh, uh. <laughs> um, Nikon has changed, and I should have noticed this at the time. Well, I did notice it at the time, but I didn't put two and two together. Because all of the Nikon DSLRs have had their rather large, half a cigar shaped um, in volume, cylindrical uh, mirror motors and shutter motors sitting in the vertical position like this in the camera. And what, that hap what happens with that is that when uh, they engage, they actually create a torque in you holding the camera like this, for example. But now the shutter motor and the mirror motor are not only not positioned vertically, they're positioned horizontally, but they're positioned at 90 degrees to each other. And there's a link in the image below from where I was taking the Nikon D500 apart. And you could see this. So that they actually cancel. They're not only in a better position, but they actually cancel each other's torque out. So now, technically, now I don't know if this exists in the D750. I know it doesn't exist in the Nikon D810, for example. Um, but this means that... Uh, the Nikon D500, at the very least, um, has less camera shake. We thought we we know that a camera actually has uh, mirror slap and shutter shake. I mean, obviously, there's still a mirror up position on uh, the uh, the wheel knob on the top of your D500. I mean, there's no eliminating out uh, shutter slap and shutter shake. But what has been eliminated out is the motor, motor torque, which engages very rapidly or engages rapidly continuously in continuous high burst. But now those two motors and their torque are canceling each other out in a different plane of axis relative to you holding the camera, but also in relationship of the camera itself, whether it's single hold or double hold on the camera. So that means that the Nikon D500 natively has better inherent um, vibration reduction due to the placement and the geometry of the mirror motor and the shutter motor but also the relationship to each other so you saw it here first and that's the answer to that one I did make note of it in the video from like a week and a half ago I was like you know these are totally in different positions than the rest of the Nikons and you can scroll back to that video from a week and a half ago and see where I mentioned that as my mind was too busy worry, uh, concentrating on repairing the camera to think about it at the time but it kinda hit me today <laughs> it kinda hit me today when I was passed out due to exhaustion because I didn't go to bed till five o'clock in the morning answering emails and comments I was like uh, duh <laughs> so there's a neat little tip about the inside of your Nikon D500 yeah vibration reduction we think about sensor stabilization or IBIS obviously and we think about lens uh, stabilization obviously Nikon doesn't have IBIS thank God I don't want that dancing sensor inside my damn camera anyway but uh, canceling out the uh, inherent torque of those motors spinning up has uh, now been uh, implemented by Nikon as evidenced from the picture in the link below that I took uh, while repairing the Nikon D500. Thank you for watching so much. If you like this video, drop a buck or two, tell me to jump off a cliff. But there's a neat little tidbit of information about the Nikon D500. Thank you. Da 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 da